Thousand. So what's the plan, Doc? Fast and Furious 10, or Fast X as it's properly titled, may have had a major change behind the scenes, but everything now seems back on track. Production has continued sticking to its schedule, more or less, and the most recent release date for part one of the final chapter in the Fast saga seems to be holding. Die-hard fans of the car chase films might have a hard time saying goodbye to their favorite franchise, even if it's with a two-part finale. But as Vin Diesel himself said, every story deserves its own ending. What will that ending be? We'll have to wait and see. For now, here's everything you need to know about Fast and Furious 10. Before you go any further, subscribe to our channel Cubisite as we post video on daily basis. And now let's go. Fast 10 release date. Initially, Universal confirmed that Fast X would debut on April 7, 2023. However, that has been shifted slightly to May 19, 2023, which so far seems to be sticking. On April 20th, it was confirmed that filming had begun, with Diesel providing regular updates on Instagram. Tyrese Gibson had previously noted that the plan is to shoot the two movies back to back, although it's not clear yet if that is still the plan. As for why the series is getting a two-part finale, Diesel has said that it's apparently because there's so much ground to cover, adding, there's so many places and so many locations in the world that we have to visit. We don't yet have a release date for Fast and Furious 11 though, but if they do film back to back, maybe we'll be seeing it in April 2024. This is pure speculation though, so be sure to check back as more updates are revealed. Fast 10 cast it was originally thought that Justin Lin would direct the final two movies in the series. However, he stepped down as director in late April 2022 while filming was underway and he was replaced by Louis Letterier. It wouldn't be a true finale to the series without most of the family back, and along with the filming confirmation came the expected cast list. Fast X will reunite the all-important Toretto family for the 10th film. Obviously, Vin Diesel's Dom is back, joined by a lot of familiar faces, especially as Fast and Furious 9 passed without any casualties. The family even grew with the surprise return of Sung Kang as Han, who will return alongside Michelle Rodriguez as Letty, Tyrese Gibson as Roman, Ludacris as Tej, Jordana Brewster as Mia, Charlize Theron as the Batty Cipher, and Natalie Emanuel as Ramsey. Diesel revealed that it was actually his daughter who ensured the return of Mia who was originally missing from the script. We imagine that'd be it in terms of the core cast, but we'd expect a lot of cameo roles and bit parts for characters across the entire series, including Lucas Black as Sean Boswell, Bo Wow as Twinkie, Jason Tobin as Earl Who, and Shi Yam as Agent Stasiak. The fate of Kurt Russell's Mr. Nobody was up in the air at the end of F9, but since he helped Han fake his own death, we wouldn't be surprised if he's still around to help Dom and his crew out. Scott Eastwood has been confirmed to return for Fast X as Little Nobody, but is it to take Mr. Nobody's role or is it confirmation that his boss will be back too? Talking of Han's return, there's a theory that Mr. Nobody might have faked Jaisal's death too, so could we see a return for Gal Gadot in the two-part finale? After the ninth movie went to space, we're not ruling anything out. Kang is certainly up for Jaisal's return, as he responded to the theory by saying, I think we need Jaisal back. In every way. I think the fans want that. We need to make that happen somehow. Whether it'll be in a cameo role or something more substantial, there's no way the finale passes without an appearance from Brian O'Connor too. Perhaps it'll just be from archival footage of the late Paul Walker or some CGI trickery, but he'll definitely play a part. Brewster has spoken of her desire to have Paul Walker's daughter Meadow make an appearance in the series before it comes to an end. Perhaps that could happen in Fast and Furious 10. The credit scene in F9 also saw Jason Statham return to the main series as Deckard Shaw, so we'd be surprised if he didn't play a role in the two-part finale, alongside his mother Magdalene Queenie Shaw is brilliantly played by Helen Murren, who teased her return. While he started as a villain, John Cena's Jacob Toretto was on Dom's side by the end of the ninth movie, so we'd expect to see the long-lost Toretto brother back in the fold for the finale too. There's been plenty of exciting new names announced for the cast, led by Aquaman's Jason Momoa playing the latest bad guy to go head T-Zero head with Dom. The Suicide Squad's Daniela Melchior and Captain Marvel's Brie Larson are also a part of the tenth movie. While their roles haven't been confirmed, there's speculation that Melchior will be playing another long-lost relative of Dom. As for Larson, Diesel has been talking up her importance in the overall Fast and Furious saga, but stopped short of revealing her role. You have no idea how timeless and amazing she will be in our mythology. He wrote on an Instagram post with a first-look image. Beyond her beauty, her intellect. 
Her Oscar, haha, is this profound soul who will add something you might not have expected but yearn for. Reacher star Alan Richson will also be joining in on the fun in a mystery role. But perhaps most excitingly, Rita Morna will star as Dom's grandmother. Yes, that is really happening. We hope you liked our video. Don't forget to hit the like button and press the bell icon to get more updates from us. We see you in the next video. Bye.